Welcome to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of the channel. I'm leaving the link in the description below. If you like the content of my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm aiming to publish two weekly tutorials. Now let's dive into the lesson. And today, after a long time, I have decided to restart the tutorials where I talk about scales. I stopped at the C minor scale and I want to complete, as promised, the whole project regarding the scales. There are just seven minor scales left to be explained. Today I am restarting this project talking about the B minor scale. The B minor scale is the relative minor of D major, same as D major has two sharps, but for those that have been following the previous part of the project, they know that I am trying now to explain the scales, especially from a much more a practical point of view, and constantly comparing the minor scale to the major starting from the same key. What do I mean? You will understand that the difference, same as in the other ones, is exactly in just three notes, in the third, in the sixth and in the seventh, that are lowered in the minor, obviously referring to the major, starting from the same key. B major has five sharps, B minor has two sharps, indeed, same as D major, of which it is the relative minor. But now let's dive into the lesson to understand what I mean. And indeed, as mentioned, let's compare now the B minor to the B major. B major is... As you can see, we touch all the five black keys. For the B minor, we need just two black keys, but I repeat, for the natural minor scale, for the B natural minor, we simply need F sharp and C. It means that I am lowering three of the keys that are the third, that in the B major was the D sharp, that now becomes the D. The sixth, that was the G sharp, that now will be the G natural. And the A sharp, the seventh, that now will be A natural. Indeed, B natural minor will be. We can also easily say that the first, the second, the fourth and the fifth are in common, identical. Whichever is the scale, major or minor. In the major, in the minor. And indeed, then, the only difference will be the sixth and the seventh on top of the third. The fingering, obviously, you have seen that on the right side is semi-identical to the one of the five standard fingering scales. They are the C minor, the D minor, the E minor, the G minor and the A minor. That's why they are the five that I've already published. Part of the same identical package, we can say. The B minor, same as I did when I ex explained the B major, on the right side has the same fingering of the standard fingering scales. First is block of three and then block of four. The left hand, same as for the major, that was... Where here, at the beginning, the four is a temporary finger, that is instead of the thumb, as you can see at the end, the fingering indeed, also in the minor, will be... Same story. The fourth at the beginning is a temporary finger, that is instead of the thumb, you have block of three, and then block of four. So the ones explained until now were the notes of the B natural minor scale. Now let's talk about uh, what happens when you play the harmonic scale. As we know from the theory, when we play the harmonic scale, we have to raise the seventh degree, the seventh note. Which one is the seventh note? In B, it is A. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seventh note according to the key signature, but has to be raised in the harmonic. And in this way, it, you will generate this, uh, uh, maybe unpleasant for many of you, unpleasant distance of one tone and a half in between the sixth and the seventh note. Doing exactly this. end up with a little finger. If you play one octave, you pass the thumb if you go over. Same story on the left side. The seventh has to be kept raised, so in this case the A sharpened, in the ascending and in the descending. Also when you go down, you will have to play respecting the, keeping the A sharp on both sides, left and right. If we have to talk about the melodic, the melodic minor scale, we have to remember that according to the theory we raise the sixth and the seventh. We know about the 7th, that is A, that has to be sharpened, the 6th is G. 
Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the sixth note that will have to be raised, becoming G sharp. That's also why I always say that in the ascending part of the melodic scale, we could even say that the scale looks like the major, starting in this case from the B, just with the minor third. What do I mean? If B major is this, and so on, B minor, B melodic minor in the ascending direction will be almost identical except to D sharp, that will be D natural. Look. And you carry on, or you end to go down. But here we are, it's in the descending direction that these two notes, the G and the A, the 6th and the 7th degree, that have been raised in the ascending, will have to be lowered again, and they will go back to the requirement of the key signature, where we have just two sharps. Indeed, in the descending direction, for example, imagine that you start from the end of the second octave, it will sound and look like... So not anymore, yeah? Like um, we did in the ascending, having the G and the A sharpened, but the A and G, they have to be natural now. And so on. When we play, this is a simple tip, an extra that I'm adding. We should say that in the music theory is considered the scale uh, that has the 6th and 7th raised also in the ascending direction, that one is called the Bach scale. Uh, I'm referring to the composer uh, Bach that was using uh, these uh, scales even in the ascending directions. But anyways, this is something that you don't have to mind. Obviously, it's uh, better to clarify, it is valid also for the left hand, so both hands doing the same thing. Now, as usual, I'm going to play the scale one octave, two octaves, and in all the possible ways, separate hands, hands together. Now B, natural minor scale, one octave, right hand. B, harmonic minor scale, one octave, right hand. minor scale, one octave, right hand. Now, left hand. B natural minor scale, one octave, left hand. B harmonic minor scale, one octave, left hand. minor scale, one octave left hand. Now let's move to the hands together. B natural minor scale, one octave, hands together. B harmonic minor scale, one octave, hands together. minor scale, one octave, hands together. Let's now move back to the right hand, two octaves, each typology of a minor scale, now two octaves with the right, then with the left, and then hands together. Let's start from B natural minor scale, two octaves, right hand. scale to octaves right hand.
natural minor scale, two octaves left hand. playing the two octaves, if it's not comfortable to start from this point, you could even start from this one. If you start from this, obviously you have to bend a tiny bit and you have to follow the notes. Bend a tiny bit towards the right side, in this way you don't stress too much the hand, because if you stay here, then it's really stressful. You have to simply feel comfortable, obviously reinforce your muscles, you bend and keep the hand in this position, always kind of perpendicular to the keyboard. Now, B, harmonic minor scale, left hand, two octaves. B, melodic minor scale, two octaves, left hand. natural minor scale, two octaves hands together. B harmonic minor scale, two octaves hands together. together. And as I've done with the other ones, now a, a simple tip. The three typologies of B minor scale, fast, two octaves and together. B natural minor scale now, fast, two octaves. <laughs> Harmonic minor scale, two octaves fast. And B melodic minor scale, two octaves fast. The speed can vary, can be even faster, can be a tiny bit slower. So it was just to show you that it is possible to play fast. As usual, I really hope you have enjoyed the lesson, that you understood everything, that you are trying to apply my advices. Feel free to comment, let me know how things are going. And remember that as promised at the beginning, this project will carry on and I will be explaining the remaining six minor scales. Because today, indeed, this is the sixth minor scale of the project. And there are 12 in total, same as the major. Just one more thing to mention, if you have really enjoyed my tutorial, and if you are really enjoying my tutorials, I would really appreciate if you mind the new Super Thanks button that you find underneath. It's very easy to be found, it's either visible or you can find it clicking on the three dots. If you are really appreciating my content, uh, my videos, if you enjoy this tutorial and all the tutorials that I have on my YouTube channel, and you want to support me, I would really appreciate. I hope that you understand how much work there is behind every single tutorial because it's not only about filming or playing, the editing process is quite time consuming and then the upload and the editing of the description and all is behind the video itself, the setting, the YouTube setting, it's quite time consuming. I'm doing it with all my heart because I really love what I do. Music is my life and probably you understood how much passion I really put into all I do. So, your super thanks would be really appreciated. Thank you very much. If it's the first time you're landing on my channel thanks to this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. All the best.